Hi guys, welcome back to Little Man Project's JavaScript in Storyline series. My name is Jamie and I'm a developer here at Little Man Project and today we're going to look into JavaScript control progress bars. So let's get started. For the longest time we've manually created progress bars in Storyline. That meant if we wanted a progress bar that went up in 1% increments we would need a progress bar with 100 states made up of 100 images and 100 triggers. This was time consuming and to circumvent this we created a dynamic progress bar using JavaScript. And this is how we do it. As you can see here, I'm in Storyline 360 and I have a project with three slides. Let's start by going into the slide master. Unfortunately, we are unable to access Storyline's built-in variables via JavaScript and so we'll start by creating a variable that we can access. We'll do this by opening the variables panel and creating a new variable with the name of progress. Then we'll add a trigger to make the progress variable equal to the built-in project.progress variable, like so. Now we can access the progress in our code. Before we get to our code, we want to create a container that will house our progress bar and we'll do that by creating a rectangle in our slide master. For this demonstration, I'm going to make this 300 pixels wide by 20 pixels high and give it a temporary color of a dark blue so we can see it. Now we will implement our code. Let's open the trigger wizard and create a new trigger that executes JavaScript when the timeline starts. open the JavaScript editor and paste in our code. You can find this code in our blog post and you can find a link to that in the video description. Now this code isn't going to work straight away as we haven't told it what shape to target. To solve this we're going to need to publish and view the course. We need to obtain an ID from the shape that we've created and so we're going to view the project using Google Chrome. Right click outside of the project and click inspect. This will show Chrome's inspection tool which allows us to access the exported code. Next we're going to click the selection tool in the top left corner and then we're going to click on the shape that we created. Notice how that's highlighted a portion of the code. To grab the correct element we need to walk up the document until we jump to a different element and then stop. Go back down one and look for a parameter inside that element that says data model ID. Double click the string inside the quotation marks, right click and copy. You can then close the browser window and go back to your slide master in Storyline. Open the JavaScript editor for the code and paste the new data model ID in the code here and click OK. Before we publish again, I'm going to select the progress bar container and make it the same color as my player. It's important you don't remove the fill color as this will stop it working. Now we'll publish again and you can see you have a progress bar. If we click next and jump to the other slides, you'll see that it works. If you want to change how the progress bar looks, you can go back to your JavaScript and tweak the parameters here. There are many ways you can use this code. For example, you could replace the project.progress variable for the scene.progress variable to show progress for individual scenes. You could even create multiple progress bars to show progress for multiple different sections, just like in this menu. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to check out our blog for more storyline tips and tricks, and be sure to follow us on social media. Links to those can be found in the video description.